YouTube Taka here. We're back with another video. Today we are doing another unboxing. We've been waiting for this one for quite a long time. We're gonna get straight into it. It is here. Utah Rika 17 scale by a Shibuya Scramble figure. Eastream. This one a lot of people had ordered and a lot of people are hyped about this one. Um, recently they did a Goldra one a little bit ago and then now this one is the newest one to come out. Um, I know there's a few other companies or uh, that doing Utah and some resins out there, but I think this might be the best Utah scale from pictures at least. The window is pretty basic. The box is a thick cardboard material. There's no pictures on the side. Just the name and Mappa and yeah, let's get into the box. Even though Utah's box was quite small, we did have to pay quite a bit for shipping. Um, I think around $80 for him, which is insane for such a small looking box for me. But nonetheless, he came really quick. He was FedEx maybe the most three business days. So I was really happy to get him. Oh, also forgot to note, this figure is not for me. This is for my partner. Pretty simple tape, nothing too crazy. He came out quite easily, wrapped in plastic like they all should be pretty safe no tra paint transfers that i saw i was absolutely blown away by this scale guys this figure was absolutely covered in plastic from head to toe it took me quite a little bit to uh, take that plastic off of Rika's leg here because you have to pull it through the base but I was able to do it The only accessory that came with this figure was Yuta's sword, and his sword was absolutely beautifully detailed. I love the shading of the healed, I think the name of that's what it is called, the sword, the color and highlighting of it, so well done. You can actually see the patterns of it, it's so good. And all you have to do to finish this figure together is take that sword and place it in Yuta's hand. I would be very careful because if you shove it in too quickly, you might get a paint transfer on the palm of his hands. And that's it. Yuta is all put together and looking absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, guys. I know Eastream. They're not a new company, but everything they've, they've been pushing out has been absolutely breathtaking with the Gojo 17 scale and now Yuta Rika. And I'm super, super excited because I know they announced a ghetto. Um, version and I am for sure gonna put my money down on him knowing my favorite character if you don't know by now and Jujutsu Kaisen but nonetheless Yuta and Rika are mind-blowingly beautiful there is absolutely no flaw no paint transfer nothing I could say bad about this figure I mean if there was maybe something negative I could say is maybe the size I just for some reason love unboxing huge scales and he honestly is not too big but it also is good because he saves you on that space which we all know as a collector if you do collect there is absolutely no space when you are getting resins or figures like this If I had to say one thing negative is about Yuta's hand does not cover Rika's head all the way and I'm not really sure why but nonetheless they both are a stunning scales that I must must recommend that you guys purchase. Everything from Yuta's shoes to the base to the crinkles and wrinkles on his pants and the shoelace everything on Yuta is absolutely phenomenal. I love the concept and I love the illustration it looks just like Yuta from the movie and it looks just like Rika from the movie absolutely amazing I am so glad that this figure is here and it's just amazing how they put so much detail on Rika even though maybe they both are the star in this figure but Yuta as you can see is a lot bigger and Rika is a lot smaller of course but they both are just absolutely stunning they even did an amazing job with Yuta's ring 
As much as I love you, Tenrika, the bass on this one, I have to say, in my opinion, is so much better than the Gojo bass. The fact that it, it just has so much more motion, I feel like, than the Gojo one. This one is a fervor and I love the color. And it, this reminds me of the scene in the movie, if you haven't seen it already, where Yuta steps in the classroom and that red, like, ore starts pouring in. And it looks like he's stepping with Rika here and it's just letting out that evil presence that she left. But it's just absolutely a stunning, stunning figure. I highly, highly recommend you guys pick her, pick them up. They are just absolutely amazing. Easy assembly, no paint flaws. You will be paying a pretty penny though. If I mean, this is a really expensive figure. Finding out from my partner that Eastream is actually labeled as a luxury brand um, in Japan. So a lot of their pricing is a lot higher than most like Kotobukiya. Uh, maybe not as high as Alter sometimes, but they are up there in their pricing. So for Yuta and Rika, for my wallet, it was quite hurt from this one. Um, we paid a total of $230, and that was with shipping, by the way. I was honestly seeing this figure now. I could say it's worth it due to the quality, but again, it all preference on everybody out there. If you are a Yuta Rika fan, I highly recommend you pick this up. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.